This is a short story I wrote that could be helpful to a lot of children. The Parrot Trap. Mandy's freckled face was bright red as the roller coaster plunged down the steep slope, made a sharp right turn, and carried her into an upside down loop. She could barely hear herself scream. I'm so glad we got to come to the amusement park today, she thought, even if I did have to drag my cousin Kevin along. They jumped off the ride and ran to stand in line for the bumper cars. They had already been on nearly every other ride at least once. A tall, pretty woman with long blonde hair and a deep tan took a place in line behind them. Have you been waiting long, she asked. No, we just got in line, Mandy replied. This is my favorite ride. What about you two, the lady continued. The roller coaster, Kevin answered. Me too, Mandy enthusiastically agreed. When their turn came, they drove wildly around, crashing into everyone they could. Several times, the blonde woman waved to them or laughed when they bumped into her. Here with your parents, Lydia asked after they got off the ride. No, Mandy replied proudly. We're old enough to come by ourselves. How wonderful, Lydia said, smiling. How old are you? Twelve, Mandy replied. Kevin had a mouthful of food, so Mandy answered for him. He's nine. Have you seen the animal shows? Lydia asked later as they walked along the midway. Do they have tigers or elephants here? Mandy asked. Nothing as exciting as that, Lydia chuckled. But they do have a dog show and a bird show near the entrance. I have a pet parrot, Lydia said. Can it talk? Kevin asked. Certainly, Lydia replied. Want to see it? We can't, Mandy answered. We're not supposed to leave the park. And anyway, our parents will be here in a few minutes. Oh, that's plenty of time, Lydia said cheerfully. I brought the parrot with me. We just need to run out to my car. It's right over there. Well, Mandy hesitated. I want to see the parrot, Kevin demanded. Okay, Mandy re answered reluctantly. She didn't think Kevin should go, but Lydia was so sweet and friendly. Mandy thought it would be all right, and she thought she could let Kevin go by himself. Anyway, it would be fun for her to be by herself for a while. But as she started to walk away, she began to feel guilty. She knew Kevin was her responsibility, and letting him go to the parking lot with Lydia was wrong. She trotted after them, then watched uneasily as Kevin climbed into a nearby car and fastened the seatbelt. She wondered why he would need a seatbelt to just look at a parrot. Lydia closed his car door and hurried to the driver's side. Mandy had nearly caught up with them when she heard the car engine start. Kevin, where are you going? Get out of there, Mandy yelled. She saw Kevin's seatbelt snap back to the side and his door opened slightly, but he couldn't get out. Lydia had a tight grip on his wrist and was struggling to hold him while she backed her car out of the parking space. Kevin kicked his door completely open and shouted, Let me go! Mandy ran toward the open door screaming, Help! Somebody help us! Other people in the parking lot were beginning to move towards them and the noise seemed to upset Lydia. She glanced at Mandy and for a second their eyes met. Mandy felt herself cringe at the angry glare. Suddenly Lydia shoved Kevin out and narrowly missed hitting them with the swinging door as she squealed from the parking space and shot towards the exit. Mandy tried to get the license number, but it was too late. Words were tumbling from Kevin. She tricked me. She didn't have a parrot in the car. She was going to drive off with me. Oh, Kevin, I was so scared, Mandy replied with tears in her eyes. Then she sighed with relief a moment later and added, Here come our mothers. Oh, no, he moaned. Do we have to tell them? They'll be mad at me for coming out here with a stranger. Then his eyes clouded. You know, I always thought they meant old men and really odd people when they told us not to talk to strangers. I don't think they meant nice ladies like Lydia. Yeah, Mandy replied. We made a bad mistake, and I don't want to get in trouble either. But we still have to tell our mothers. Maybe the police can catch Lydia and keep her from hurting other kids. What do you think she was going to do with me? Kevin asked. Mandy hugged him. I don't know, but I'm glad we didn't have to find out. Kevin nodded. Thanks for coming after me, he whispered hoarsely. They both smiled grimly and waited for their parents. To read the complete story, go to Amazon.com and download the Kindle version.